What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am happy to be back, especially for this video, because A, I love risotto, and B, I'm gonna walk you through the fun process of how a line cook in a restaurant would pick up a dish such as this butternut squash risotto for a very hungry guest. With that said, let's dive into the recipe. All right, so as some of you guys may know, a dish or recipe isn't cooked from start to finish every time someone orders it at a restaurant. Uh, so for a dish like this, risotto, you have to bring most of the components for the finished dish as close to done as possible whilst still maintaining the integrity of the products. So here, you wanna prep the butternut squash by peeling and then neatly dicing it. After that, you're going to lightly saute the squash in a hot pan with some olive oil and then you can season it with salt and cracked black pepper, then finish it with a few sprigs of rosemary, thyme, and sage. The total cook time is about seven to 10 minutes, depending on how big the cuts are, uh, but you wanna make sure they're still ever so slightly raw in the center, because remember, they're going to be cooked again when the dish is picked up. Next up is the risotto, which is the fun part um, cooking wise and all this. So in a medium sauce pot or preferably a rondo, if you have one, add in the olive oil and minced onion and cook them on low heat for about one minute. Just try not to get any color on the onions, otherwise the risotto turns brown. Anyways, once that's done, add in the risotto. In this case, I'm using arborio rice and lightly cook it for another minute while constantly stirring. After the rice is all warm and toasty, pour in the white wine and continue to stir. At this point, turn the heat up to medium and let about half of the wine cook off. When the wine is reduced and the rice is starting to thicken up a bit, start adding in the hot chicken stock a ladle at a time while still stirring. Basically, this whole process you're going to be stirring uh, just to develop that you know, porridge-like stickiness um, that you would look for in risotto. Uh, but if you use cold chicken stock from the fridge, you'll risk making the risotto a little gummy, so just be mindful of that. But as soon as the rice is tender on the outside and slightly raw or al dente in the middle, quickly transfer it to a tray lined with parchment or a silt pat and let it cool down in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Last but not least on things to prep for the dish is a simple garnish, of course. So here I'm going to quick fry a few sage leaves from the garden to give the risotto a pop of crunch, a nice winter green color, and some flavor. Just make sure to season them with a little salt and rest them on a paper towel to take away any excess grease. Okay, now it's time for the order fire pickup of this risotto. Everything is all mise en place out. Everything is in its place, all neat and organized, just how I like it, ready for the first guest to walk in per se. So let's do it. First thing is to get a pan on the heat, add in a splash of hot chicken stock to it so your risotto doesn't burn or stick to the bottom when you add it in. Then you're gonna add in the risotto right after that and make sure you start stirring immediately just to wake up that gluten and uh, begin that porridge-like consistency again. As soon as the risotto is cooked all the way through and is at that porridge consistency that we're looking for, mix in the Parmesan cheese and then you're gonna fold in the squash, but just make sure you take it easy on the squash since it can tend to break down and mush up. Thank you. 
All right, so after that is all done, the risotto's finished, it's time to plate this up. Usually risotto is served in a warm, shallow bowl, uh, but use what you've got on hand. First, the risotto goes down, give the bowl a few shakes just to settle it around the bowl, uh, then top it with a grating of fresh parm and a garnishing of the fried sage, and that's it. Restaurant style butternut squash risotto. Okay, what's up guys? So the butternut squash risotto is done. This looks fantastic. I'm very excited to dive in and I had a lot of fun uh, during this video just kind of showing you guys maybe what it looks like for a line cook to pick up a dish like this. It's just a very simple pickup and I thought it was a lot of fun just to show you guys how that was done and just the thought that goes into uh, preparation and timing and all those good things. So I'm gonna dive in the recipe and uh, tell you guys how I did. Sorry about the, the clouds and the lighting. It's gonna go in and out as far as like it being really bright and a little bit cooler uh, just because I film with all natural lighting as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, so bear with me with the lighting. <laughs> okay, let me dive in. A little bit of the crispy sage. Mm. Very simple, very clean. Very understandable flavors, but the way they're presented is kind of um, a nice highlight to them. The risotto is super creamy, perfectly cooked. Has just like a slight al dente center, just slight, but it's super tender. All the granules of rice are cooked beautifully. Um, and it has just a tiny bit of soupiness to it. Um, I'm not crazy about a really soupy risotto. I think that's kind of like a traditional way of doing it with just making it, um, you know, absorb a lot of the stock and have that extra liquid. I like mine just slightly um, soupy, I guess is the way to put it, with um, just a little extra liquid so it's not too dry. Um, and has a beautiful creaminess to it. Mmm, the sage is really good. It has a really nice pop of um, floral bite every now and then. You put like four or five sage leaves on there, and it's nice and, you know, some of the random bites. And it adds a, a cool little crispy texture too. Plus, it's really beautiful on the plate. Mm, so good. I love, this is exactly how I like my risotto. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you guys like what I'm doing and I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later folks.